What's going on guys, it's your boy Salty. I wanted to make a video on the progression of 90s and basically how to get your 90s from this, all right, from this to this, and it's way faster. All right, so basically in this video, I'm gonna be progressing from like a very basic 90 and like the very core components of a 90, stuff you should practice, and it's gonna progressively get harder until we reach the 90 that I just showed you. So think of where you already are. If you've already mastered the 90 degree turn, which is this or the double 90, then you probably don't need to watch the beginning of this and you can just skip ahead. But if you haven't really learned the 90 and like the double 90, the triple 90, stuff like that, just recommend watching the entire thing. All right, so let's get this started now. I find that it's much easier to go one way in a 90 degree, right? I prefer to go to my right. Now that you're gonna need to find whether you like to go to the right or to the left. This is gonna be personal preference. Um, so yeah, just try going to the right then also try going to the left like I said I enjoy going to the right more um, as you can see I don't really practice my left that much um, it's important to be able to know how to do it both ways don't get me wrong um, but as long as you know where you are you can pretty much always set it up so you can go one way anyway now that you've got that figured out Clutch. We are going to basically be stripping down the 90 into the bare components just so you can get the movement down. It's really important to know the movement of the 90. What I mean by this is you'll see a lot of people um, do 90s like this and they're like running into their wall. You see what I mean by that? It's really important to be able to basically stay on this like magical one third line. It's not too far to the left. It's not too far in the middle pretty much in a sweet spot and then you basically want to like turn it right here right so boom it's gonna look like this I'm obviously doing it in slow motion uh, but you don't want to bang against the wall because that's gonna lose a lot of your momentum and if you're banging into the wall that means you're not cutting hard enough to the side you're going to now if I'm gonna go left again you don't want to bang into the walls you want to learn to get it down so that you're just staying in this sweet spot and look, just so you can do this, okay? Really simple, boom. The way you're gonna practice this is real speed. So once you get that down, boom, now you're gonna start going like this. And honestly, this is like a really fast 90. So you should be able to get this like really, really quickly, like that. Um, you see how I'm staying like on the middle? Kinda messed up right there. But boom, all right, you see that? Now, once you've got the hang of that, once you can perform a 90 like that without falling off, um, this is where you're gonna start getting some walls involved. So basically, to do this, you're gonna place one wall here, one wall here, one wall here, one wall here, floor, and then stair. And again, it's gonna be the same component. You wanna take the same route. Even though you're putting the walls, you wanna take the same route. Banging into my walls like a pleb boom all right once you add the walls onto that that's gonna take a while as well and guys don't get discouraged if you can't do this right away it's gonna take practice it's gonna take some time obviously you're not gonna hop into one game and instantly have the 90 down it personally took me very long to get the hang of 90s down but okay once you master that 90 that's pretty much the traditional 90 that i see you're gonna want to learn how to do a double okay so this is basically just two 90s in one spot now boom 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 okay uh, not to make excuses or anything but when i'm recording it's a little laggier so cut me some slack okay so now once you got the hang of that 90 now we're gonna transition on to this one so this 90 that i've been talking about that i've been hyping up how we're gonna do this is we're gonna start off with a wall here place a wall at the side place a wall up top and then floor ramp up okay and this is what it's gonna look like again boom 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 and again, we're going to want to take that same route, but something that I've kind of seen with this 90 is that it's a little harder to do it quick. So you're going to find yourself like going really far to the side. So maybe even like start a little more to the side, just like give yourself a little more room. Now we're going to try to implement this into a double 90. Let's see how it looks. There we go. And something good about this or something that you want to do is after the first initial one, you already want to be like setting yourself up for the second one, right? So this is what it's gonna look like when I do one and you immediately wanna be setting yourself up for a second one. I'm gonna play in slow motion so you kinda get what I'm saying.
All right, this is something you're going to be doing a lot. So take a nice look at this. It's going to be really hard not to floor yourself on the double 90 if you are doing that. Um, basically, the reason that's happening is because you're trying to go too quickly and you're not giving the walls enough time to place before switching to your floor. So that's why you're going to get like the floor above you if you do that. So really good to get the timing down. All right, now, now I'm hitting them, baby. Now I'm hitting them. Okay. Oh. Skirt. But yeah, guys, I mean, the 90s are all pretty much the same. You're going to see slight differences in speed. But like I said, when you're going against really high competition, that slight speed is going to be the difference between having high ground and not having high ground. Obviously, if you're playing against potato, it's not going to matter which one you do. But yeah, that is how I like to 90. That's the fastest way to 90 that I know of in the game. There's probably something out there that's maybe a slightly quicker and i'm sure in the future there's going to be multiple things that are quicker than that but for now that is the method i'm using that's the method i recommend for you to practice and to learn but again guys don't skip this okay this is pretty pretty important to understand the movement of the 90s okay very very important i can even do it to the left look at me it's not it's not pretty it's not pretty i just never go to my left so this is gonna be a lot easier to do if you play on a high sensitivity obviously like the lower your sensitivity the harder this is i personally play on a low sensitivity it is possible to do on a low sensitivity but as you can see by my arm literally look at my shoulder i literally have to throw my arm around all right so here's a little clip between me and tim yoshi we played today i just want to show the effectiveness of double 90ing and how much faster it is than 180ing and the player i'm playing against right now is a really really good player all right so you see how i don't have high ground right i'm obviously low ground this is me the reindeer skin and i'm going against a skull trooper so he has high ground right now and um i'm obviously lower and i'm gonna show you guys the 90s so he does a 180 and i'm pretty sure he does an another 180 so let's see. Boom. Again, I want to state this is a really good player. He's taken multiple games off me in 1v1s. Um, very good. Uh, again, the 180. I don't recommend that. I don't know why he did that right here. But I actually do end up taking the high ground. Boom. Just barely. Look, so basically we meet right here and I just get my ramps off over him. All right, so here's my POV of the fight and how this happened. It's a little laggy because it's replay mode. So boom, double 90. I lose high ground. Um double 90 again and i just barely get high ground you see that there um just showing the effectiveness of these double 90s they're so quick if you aren't doing double 90s you need to implement that into your game asap but yeah just a little example i wanted to show you guys anyway this is the new double 90 hope you guys did enjoy hope you guys learned from it again make sure to go practice don't give up until you figure it out okay but yeah literally throw yourself into a playground turn off fall damage so you can jump off and um literally just keep practicing this again progress up it don't don't hop into it like if you've never done a 90 don't try to do this one like trust me do not jump into this one it's pretty hard but yeah that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like if you did subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new if you want to buy g fuel make sure to use my code salty g fuel baby and yeah come follow me on facebook link to that's in the description below live stream every single day um, i'll see you guys next time peace out